Okay, while the App Store is on fire, there wouldn't be a better time to rejoice the side loading of apps on Android and still not voiding your warranty. Just kidding, here's Pratik from TechWiser.com and these are the best apps for August 2020. Pixel 4a launched just now and we won't be getting our hands on it until October 2020 but here's one exclusive Pixel feature that everyone can try. Tap Tap. Tap Tap is a Pixel port just like Gcam thanks to XTA developer Kyron Quinn. Tap Tap lets you do this. You can tap twice on the back of your phone and link into an action. It uses the phone's internal accelerometer and gyroscope to detect the back tap. I use the tap tap app to map the double tap action on the back of my phone to toggle flashlight on or off. But I know, the million dollar question is, does it work when you have a mobile cover? Well, no. If you have a very thick cover, no. And yes, if you have a slim silicon case that comes inside the box. It's just weird when you have the cover on. Crop It is a nice little AI based app that can crop out faces from group photos. You can use this app to convert a full size photograph to passport size images or just use it to find weird expressions of your friends in group selfies and post them on their birthdays. I knew AI would be of great benefit to human society. iOS 14 shows a light indicator on the top right corner of your screen whenever any third-party app uses your phone's camera or microphone. But you can get the same feature on pretty much any Android device with access dots. The app is simple. If a third-party app like Instagram or Facebook uses your camera or mic, it has a green-orange dot respectively to denote that. It's good for privacy because shady apps get notorious at times and try to access the microphone in the background. By the way, this is only until Android 10 because Android 11 doesn't provide background camera, GPS or microphone access, which is kind of a better solution than the dots. What AirDrop is to iPhone, Nearby Share is to Android. Nearby Share lets you send any file, document, contact, location, anything from one Android phone to another. Here, check this out. It's like Zender but should come pre-installed with other Android devices. Nearby sharing has launched officially only for Pixel and Samsung Galaxy devices. But if you don't have these devices, here's how to get it on any Android phone running Android 6 and above. Head over to the Play Store and register for Beta Tester for Play Store services. Restart your device and you should have the option in the quick settings menu. Just in case, if you have a Xiaomi device, then go to settings, Google, device communication, nearby sharing, turn it on. Here's a neat little app that I found yesterday. SQL Playground lets you run SQL commands directly on Android. It has a built-in table called employee where you can test your DML queries. Now, it doesn't support creating a table altering one or dropping and no suggestions in the editor. So you have to memorize the commands. For help, you can tap on the search icon at the top and see sample commands for reference. The only problem in the app is full screen ads. So turn off the internet while you use the app. Google recently launched its job and career platform app called Cormo. In case you're wondering, Cormo is Bangla and it means action in English. So it's basically a job aggregator platform. It pulls in jobs from Shine, Jobs Adda, etc, etc. You can pretty much land a job in any domain, content writing, data entry, IT, etc. Moreover, there's this work from home tag. So in these times, you can work from home. There's also this remote interview batch which denotes the interview will not be in person, it will be a virtual one. Whatever truly wireless earphones you might have, all of them have a certain amount of latency. Now YouTube and Netflix isn't the right place to check the latency of your earbuds because these sites intentionally delay the audio to make sure everything is in sync. So here's the earbuds latency test app. It doesn't delay the video, so it's more like real time and it gives you an exact millisecond value at the bottom for your earbud. 
So let's say if an earbud has a latency less than 100 milliseconds, those are good for PUBG. You can play and have a good time unless PUBG is not banned. Well, that was the list. In case you missed out on our Prime Day videos, link here, subscribe to TechWiser and see you in the next video.